four key components what I consider to be most important for implementing uh, generative AI uh, and adding to your data foundation architecture. Uh, one is uh, making your unstructured data management uh, to be uh, to have the first class support. Second is inclusion of vector and graph databases. And third would be uh, inclusion of uh, prompt engineering and rag based frameworks into the architecture. Uh, and the fourth most important one is to build a governed and secured LLM API gateways. So all these four together when they are augmenting your data foundation architecture can unlock or make your generative AI successful. It makes it easier and uh, make it more governed and secure way of implementing these applications uh, in, in, in your data foundation architecture. So we take a very pragmatic uh, incremental approach uh, when we are implementing generative AI or evolving the architecture. Uh, so depending on the customer's maturity level, uh, at what stage they are, uh, we evolve the architecture in an incremental manner. We start with first with uh, inclusion of prompt engineering and uh, LLM API gateways to begin with. And then slowly we add rack frameworks, then we add uh, unstructured data management capabilities to the architecture. So we take it through the journey and depending on the customer's maturity level, the kind of use cases, uh, we evolve the architecture uh, in the right way.